Welcome Extreme Home Arcade owners. This is a tutorial video on how to set up controllers in RetroArch. And this should fix the issue if you're having issues with your Tron stick overriding your controllers. So from here, I'm just gonna go over to the Super Nintendo file folder right on the main file. And then I'm gonna hit my player one to enter. And then I'm just, I like to go right to Mario to test. So I'm gonna go right to Super Mario World. From here, I'm gonna hit my coin, my player one coin button. That'll bring the menu up on my right. And then from here, I'm gonna go to open retro arch. So from here now, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go to settings and then I'm gonna go to input and max users, um, I'm gonna do two, but if you have a Tron stick, you're gonna wanna do three to start. So I'll just do it just saying if I have a Tron stick. So I'm gonna do three to start. Um, if you don't have a Tron stick, you don't need to do that. You can just do two. But for three, you need to have three to do all the inputs. Um, from here then, I'm gonna go down to my controller one, port one controls. I'm gonna left click on that. I'm gonna go to the device index and make sure that you have controller Xbox one for windows, number one. I'm gonna click on that. And then from here, it's just gonna be a matter of in, inputting my, my inputs. Um, so I'm just gonna follow what it says. So a left click and then D-pad up. That's my second controller, D-pad up. And then I can just go down from here and follow what it says on screen. So D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. I'm not gonna do all the inputs, but just to kind of give you an idea as to what I'm doing. And then you can go down and follow everything that it says. I mean, you can go all the way down to the bottom to do your even your analog. And then once you're all done doing the inputs to your liking, save controller profile. So left mouse click. And now just to get back to the next menu, I use my right mouse click. And then now that gets me back to the input menu. Now I'm gonna go to port two and do my second controller. So port two. And again, device index, you're gonna click that. Now for this one, obviously you're gonna to wanna to make sure it says number two. And then you're gonna do the same thing that I was just showing you with one. You can go down and do all that stuff with the D-pad and all the other inputs. And you're gonna do that to your liking. And then once you're done, save controller profile again. And then back out. And then what we're gonna do, since you did that, you won't have to worry about three. Then I'm gonna go back to the top, max users. I'm gonna make this two now. Like I was saying, you need to put it on three because it like recognizes the Tron stick and you won't be able to input your player two inputs. So you do three and then you do all your inputs and then you come back out and then you make that two. Obviously, if you had four controllers, you'd make it five and then come back and do four. Um, so, but anyways, when I'm done with all that, like I said, you're going to come back. I'm going to make that two. I'm going to back out again one more, which, which is my right click. And from here, I'm going to hit main menu. And I'm going to go to configure file. And I'm going to save this current configuration. So it's going to save all the configurations that I just made with all the controllers and all that. I'm gonna save that. And then from here, I'm going to right click. And then we can go down to quit retro arch. Oh, that's going to bring me back here. Now I can back out, shift player two or your player one, player two. And I'm going to hit my player one. I'm going to go in game. I'm going to test and make sure they're working. Make sure the Tron stick's not interfering. So I see mine's, mine I think is working. All right, there we go. That's working. And go up down. But say, say you get in and your player one isn't working for some reason and your Tron stick is still interfering. Um, you're gonna need a keyboard. And from here we can go in game. So I'm just gonna hit um, my F1. Oops, actually, give me a minute. 
I need to plug my keyboard in. There. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to plug my keyboard in. So I hit F1. And now that brought up this menu. So this is basically like an in-game menu of RetroArch. And then now I'm going to go down to controllers. I'm going to hit it. Oops. Sorry about that. F1. F1. F1, go down to controllers. And then now from here, if it's not working, um, if you have that tron stick issue, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna probably have the three ports up and then you're gonna just go into port one and you're gonna hit enter. And you're gonna make this map port. If the, if the tron stick is coming up as one, you're gonna make this map port three. So you'll go in here and you'll make this three. And then I'll go back, back. And then you'll go down and then you'll make port two, one, and then you'll make port three, two. That's if you have the three ports on there and your Tron sticks like still giving you issues. That's how you can fix that. But the way that I originally showed you in the beginning should hopefully take care of everything and you shouldn't run into issues. But if you do, this is the other way to do it. Um, so then from here, you're gonna go back and you're gonna do the save and then you exit and then you can get back out and test and you're ready to have fun.